day two of Electric Picnic. Jenny Houston here, joined by Dan Lassac versus Scroobius Pip. This is Pip. This is Dan. Hello, guys. Hello. It's, it's a bit of a back and forward thing. Now, seasoned festival veterans. Yes. Flim and a flam. Flim and a flam. Worked. Someone told me that was what it was called, and then no one else in the world's ever heard it, so I, I'm creating it as my own. What, what is that? Flim flam. Uh, one it's the exchange of mic people. between two people, apparently. Apparently. I knew that I was going to be educated when I interviewed you. I mean, it's well. you are kind of the most intelligent pop around. I don't think pop is the right word to do justice. I, it's I, too simple. I don't know if intelligent is the right word to do <laughs> justice. Opinionated, maybe, or, or talky, wordy. But yeah, <laughs> idiot, Larry. But the thing is, you guys get away with what you create. Is this um, because the music is so catchy and accessible and you know beat driven but then the minute you start talking everyone it's immediately if they don't know you when the, the message board lights up every time I play get better people go whoa who yeah. is that and you really strike a chord with the lyrics and I think it's like they you kind of lure them in with your yeah. with your beats and then all of a sudden you I hit them sneak with, up on them and hit them yeah. with words yeah it's I mean it's good I find it works well at the live shows as well because you can just go and get into it. Do you know what I mean? There's enough to just dance and enjoy yourself. But if you can also hopefully have something to think about on the way home and things like that, it's not about spreading a message or telling Isn't people how to live. It's, it's about hopefully getting people th thinking and, and discussing things. I don't have any real answers for anyone. It's just putting the subjects f forward and hopefully people are, are making their own mind up. And I mean, Dan, are you ever going, ah, oh, here he goes again? Yeah, most days. Even in <laughs> interviews. So that I didn't listen to a word he said then. I was just looking around. Oh, it's, it's warm in here. That was pretty much me. So, so you're what, just... What saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I agree wholeheartedly. Yes. Uh, yes. Biscuits. Bourbons are the best biscuit. Yeah, that correct? Uh, yeah, as I, was, as I was saying, I make all the music and all the lyrics, and Dan just kind of pretends and mimes. So yeah. as, as, as we agree... You carry him um, the yeah, whole way. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. With the logic of chance, um, was there anything that you were hoping to do differently than Angles, or was it just uh, a natural progression? It, it was really a natural progression. There was no kind of s sit down beforehand and we're going to do this or going to do that. Like we've never uh, really discussed any plan or path at all. It's just what happens naturally. And, and, and logic of chance, we wrote most of it on the road and on tour, so it really influenced the kind of tempo of a lot of it and the driving beats of a lot of it. And also the subject matter, obviously, going around and seeing a lot of the UK and, and Ireland and everywhere else, it's kind of take it all in. And with your music, I mean, how do you find that it works when you do uh, European festivals or um, when you bring it to North America and things like that? There's the, you know, obviously with tracks like Great Britain, it, you're commentating on, mm. on, on your environment, but does it transfer? Do you, do you feel like people get it elsewhere? No, yeah, it's fine because, uh, especially on the continent, if they don't understand what he's saying, the beats are always there to keep them moving, you know. You so carry him. I carry him, yeah. yeah. So, and North America, they they don't pay us any attention. So, because mm -hmm. we make hip hop basically, and you've got far more than enough already over there. Don't need some British guys coming over. I mean, you're branded hip hop. It's so accessible. I mean, I always wonder how how you feel about it and how radio treats you generally, because you are that sort of interesting in between, where it's you know yeah. political commentary, it's social conscience, it makes you I think mean, all the stuff, but it is. It, it, is, it is a weird one because we've never kind of, I don't know, it was odd, a, a lot. we didn't expect to get the coverage on radio and things like that that we got and we've never then went right and chased that, if you know what I mean. So sometimes we'll have stuff that works on radio and sometimes we won't, but so it's always a bonus if we do. And again, it's the same with America when we've uh, uh, been over there. The reaction's always been positive in that it's... Although a lot of it, particularly on the first album, although it's written from a British perspective, it's stories and things like that that, that translate. It's not obviously there's a, a a few on this one that are more UK based, but again, it all translates to any s cities and and things like that. Certainly, I mean that the subject matter of get better. I mean it's you know. Even the, just the teen pregnancy angle alone, yeah. you know, it's my goodness. I think every parent that hears that just goes, I just want to get that yeah. for my children. Because yeah. you managed to do the sort of parental advice without being preachy. Yeah, every we, parent's we, uh, dream. And we, we go for the, the parent demographic of our, <laughs> our audience. That's, 
Again, another unintentional uh, <laughs> remixes there. for adults little, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> now we're very excited because you're coming back to Ireland after Electric Picnic. You've yes. got and not just one day, but three dates. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I'm, I've got them here. Where are they? Yeah. The Workman's Club in Dublin, Cypress Avenue, in Cork, Kelly's in Galway. The fifth, sixth, Six seventh seven. of yeah. November. Yeah. We, weirdly, we normally do more. Yeah, we usually yeah, really. get um, Limerick in, maybe, and but uh, for some reason it's. Well, Limerick last November. time was amazing. It was, was a really Dolan. good. Limerick likes their hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was Dolan. good. As yeah, we normally get and we normally get a bit of of, of of the north in as well. But this time it's just the way the tours all set out is having to be a, a quicker yeah. visit. But still, it's good to not just come over and do. A, D- Dublin, there's a lot of bands yeah. do just come and do Dublin. Yeah. It's good to get back to Galway because that was one of the first places we played over it that really gave us a, a wicked yeah. reception. Galway is always exciting. Yeah. Everyone's so laid back. It's really odd. Everyone's just, it's like, like a, it's a coast, it feels coastal and everyone's yeah. drunk. Yeah, there, there's the perception of sort of, you know, bohemian, slightly yeah, hippie, yeah. slightly oh, laid back, yeah. loads of, yeah, it's great. So, yeah. You've yeah. said on your website, guys, that um, you won't be touring much in 2011. Is that because you'll be working on album number three or just because you want to stop looking at each other? Um, yeah, <laughs> stop looking at each other first. Um, a bit of it will be the fact that we'll be around Europe a lot, trying to hit some of the festivals we couldn't hit this year because of focusing on the UK and Ireland. And then a bit of it will be writing as much as we possibly can. So we did sort of last year, we didn't really play a lot in the UK or Ireland mm. because of... Yeah. the same reasons but this time we're actually going to make an effort to, to spend some to time really not right because that was it on the last album we intended as I said before it was all written on the road we intended to take a load of time off to write it but just we got tons of offers and couldn't say no and it's like it was always oh them offers it was particularly we still get a lot of countries we've not been to before and things like that it's always like oh we'll just do that one so Okay, well, I know that um, um, obviously I'm going to try to see you because I've, I owe everything I've seen is recorded on stage. Well, we've just seen you on television of yeah, your yeah, show, yeah. so I want to see it live. So I yeah. just want to know, like, do you still, do you have to have the book in front of you? Because, the, you know, it's it's dense amount of lyrics. So see, no, no, do you know what you're going to say? I, I use the book for two songs. Um, it's just all different uh, props and that. Originally, on both of them, the reason I'd get the book out was to have the lyrics in to kind yeah. of ch- ch- cheat it a bit. But, um, but yeah, it's all for... The, uh, 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 there's an, uh, an element of, of theatrical um, performance in there because I don't have any instruments to play and, and he's got more stuff. I do this to... whole newsreader bit that yeah, involved like having a TV over his shoulder with images on it and all this and it was just so he could hold the lyrics. It wasn't anything about the show. It was just so, right, we'll have this, this and this, we'll light and that. Right, I'm ready. Full, Easy. Full cheeky. <laughs> Full cheeky. Okay, well, thank you. And uh, thank you again for the flim flam. Um, I love an education with an interview. Looking forward to later. Damn the sack, Scroobius Pip. I think I might find.